Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Fortis tube doors with mirror kit on this Jeep Gladiator. This is the same install as your Jeep JL. The tools I'll be using for this installation are a ratchet with extension, 13 and 10 millimeter sockets, a T50 Torx bit, a 13 millimeter wrench, and a four millimeter Allen wrench that's provided in our kit. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. So we've already removed the factory doors and got them set to the side. We also pulled out the door pin hardware from the factory because we will be reusing those when we install the tube doors. Now we're going to go ahead and start by assembling the driver's side front door. This is the top of the door. This is where the mirror goes up top. Uh, and we're going to focus in first on the hinges. All right, here we're at the top hinge mount right next to where our mirror is going to attach. Uh, this is our door pin that's going to be attaching here and you can see how it's going to line up. Now there is going to be some adjustment uh, ability to it. Uh, make sure that you get the correct side. So this door pin, the bracket needs to come in and then kind of bend in to push this more towards the vehicle. Uh, next, what we're gonna do in our kit, we're gonna have some hardware. We've got a bolt with flat washer and then we're gonna have on the opposite side a nylock nut with another flat washer. Now this is actually what I find to be the most difficult part of the install, getting everything lined up here. After this, everything is smooth sailing. Uh, there's just not a lot of room to move around underneath here. So what we're gonna do is get that lined up here, get this lined up up top. All right, and once you get the thread started, go ahead and bring it all the way down to the nylock and then the next one down the exact same way. All right, once you've got this started, what we're gonna do is take a 13 millimeter wrench, hold on to the nut with a 13 millimeter wrench, and we're using a 13 millimeter ratchet. We're gonna start to snug those down. We don't wanna get them tightened down all the way. We want it just enough to where we can still slightly move this around, um, but where it doesn't fall on its own. and then do the exact same to the next hinge down. Now, if you're putting this onto a Jeep Gladiator or a JL four door, we can go ahead and repeat the same steps on the rear door for the hinge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to mount the mirror on the front door. Now there are different mirror kits available. Now you might not want to use mirrors at all if you're just hitting the trail. Uh, if you're using the Rugged Ridge quick disconnect mirrors, they're gonna use these holes right here to mount. Uh, we've got it with the mirror kit included with the door. So these three holes are gonna line up to these three holes. And what we're gonna do is take these three bolts, go through here and then drop them right down through these three holes. On the back side for each one of these bolts, we're gonna use a washer and a uh, nylock nut.
or I went ahead and used the hardware on the back side of these two bolts as well, got that connected. Next, what we're gonna do is take a 10 millimeter. I'm just gonna use a ratchet and socket. We're gonna hold the hardware in place while I tighten it down using the Allen wrench. Now, as you're tightening this down, you wanna make sure the mirror gets nice and lined up where you want it so it's nice and straight. All right, let's go ahead and bring it to the truck. All right, now we're gonna take our door. We're gonna line up our door pins to the hinges from the factory. Make sure your door pins are straight up and down. Once you get them lined up, make sure they're both going in at the same time. And drop them in. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and attach our door pin hardware. Uh, as you can see, the door pin is not exactly straight, so we might need to kind of move it around a little bit uh, and get that hardware started. So we're going to get it started on the bottom. All right, and once you get the hardware started on both of them, go ahead and tighten them both down. Get them nice and snug using a T50. Next, we can go ahead and shut our door onto the door latch. Uh, and when we do that, we're probably gonna have to lift up on that door a little bit to get everything to line up. Now we can go ahead and go forward and tighten down the door pins. All right, now using a 13 millimeter wrench along with a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, we can go ahead and tighten down our door pin hardware. All right, now we can go ahead and install our check strap. Now you notice on the strap, one end has one loop and the other end has two loops. Uh, this is the end that goes to the truck. Uh, so we've got our hook on the truck. If we use this loop here, it'll allow us to open the door past 90 degrees. Uh, this one right here won't allow it to go as far. So we're actually gonna use this one. So we're gonna pop that out. Drop that in place and bring this hoop over and attach it to that hook there. Okay, now go ahead and test the operation of the door to see how the latch strikes. Uh, if this latch needs to be adjusted, you can use the provided Allen wrench to do that. These two bolts right here will allow you to adjust that latch in and out. And then these two bolts here will allow you to adjust the latch up and down. All right, now that we got everything dialed in exactly the way we want it, we can go ahead and repeat the same process on the rear door and then all the same steps on the opposite side of the Jeep. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online at realtruck.com.